issues. Tonight we're taking one last look at an old favorite of the 38 Special shooting community. I decided to retest this because I had one round of it left and I've switched from a 14 ounce denim to a 12 ounce denim four layer barrier. And I'll need to roll in last year's chronograph test because my chronograph test of the one round I had left this time around failed. Last winter we tested this same round and got an average of 848 feet per second muzzle velocity for a muzzle energy of about 216 foot pounds. And I am firing from about four feet away. 870. 890. 871. 838. 853. That is all five. Let's get an average here. 864 feet per second. Without further ado, here is this week's test. Greetings, discreet defenders. Today from the Ruger LCR, I am going to be testing my one remaining round of 135 grain spear gold dot short barrel 38 special plus P ammunition. Here's the test gun as, as per usual. I know the lighting is kind of terrible right now, but you can see that is the 135 grain version. This is kind of a retest of a, of a, of a gel and denim and chronograph test that I did last fall. But I have one round left, and since I have switched to a four layer 12 ounce denim test instead of a four layer 14 ounce denim test, I figured I should give this round another chance because I do believe that the, uh, the heavy denim barrier is a little unrealistic. This round by Spear Gold Dot is kind of disappointingly slow in fact, it would not surprise me at all to learn that the real reason they call this a plus P load is that it sells better than if they called it a standard pressure load. But I have the chronograph set up here since I have only one round to work with. And we will see from about three feet from the chronograph a little more like five feet from the gel block. We'll see what we get. 263. That is a, an error on the chronograph, unfortunately. Okay, gone through all four layers of denim. And we do have expansion. Very definite expansion. And it has stopped. No, it has not impacted the board. It has stopped almost at the back of the block. And it has expanded. So let's get in here and examine that wound track in the gel. Here is the... Um, Okay, so ignore this. <laughs> Here is that 135 grain, 38 special plus P entrance, entry point in the gel. And you can see the star-shaped explosive expansion in those first eight inches. That is a pretty remarkable Remarkable looking track. Um, down here is where it approaches 
a smaller wound track from an earlier test, but this is this is the one right here. Big one close to the top. And here is the block. You can see old wound tracks from an old test. But here is where it entered. And it went right across above the old wound tracks. It did not actually... You can, you can see its independent path right above the old wound tracks. And there it sits, just above them. And nicely, nicely expanded. Now, let's measure that, uh, that total penetration depth. Just at the 13 inch mark down there, right at the front of the bullet is just 13 inches. Let's pull that out and put the calipers on it. In fact, <laughs> I would almost say that it did go all the way 13 and a half. If you count that slight bounce back track right there. If I didn't have the board behind it, it might have continued on. Well, maybe not. It's hard to say. It was definitely coming close to a halt at that point. All right, let's see what we're dealing with here. Seven pointed star on this. That is just beautiful. I love that. Definitely at least 55, 56. It's hard to figure out a widest point because seven points makes for a bit of an uneven expansion star. But I would say, yeah, r probably right there at five, six, six, hundredths of an inch. Five, six, eight. I'm getting a five, six, eight. Five, six, eight right there. So almost 57 caliber on that nice, big 135 grain slug. I do like this round a lot. I wish that spear would not pud load it quite so much. If you did have an expansion failure, you know, that's not the end of the world because it's still a big slug. It's going to punch a big hole. You saw that hollow point cavity. It's very wide to start out with. It's going to do some damage, definitely. Um, I... I would use this load. I would trust this load with my life. So there is your spear, gold dot, 135 grain, 38 special plus P, short barrel load. And of course, there's the test gun. The Ruger LCR with its 1.9 inch barrel. All right. Thanks, folks. This is Dave for DDR. Have a great week.